All right, we're going to take another look at the DragonOS Pi 64 image uh, that's currently uploaded. A couple things need to be uh, fixed, and until I get around to it, I wanted to show, uh, it, it's a learning experience as well, um, how to resize on the fly once you burn the uh, uh, SD card, once you burn the image, the SD card. Uh, there's various different ways you can expand the SD card, but I was trying to do it all with the Pi itself as it's booted and running live, and so I verified earlier and this works. Uh, the other thing, we're going to fix SDR play and then we're going to fix GRGSM and we will uh, use it all together with the RSP1 Alpha and a Blade RF XA9 running Yate. So hang in there. We're going to do a couple things here but first we'll pull up a terminal window and I'll just point out I'm using the uh, Windows Manager uh, that comes in the image by default that I still need to fix like I've talked about in previous videos. So that's why it looks the way it does. But if we pull up uh, FDisk against the uh, MMC BLK0, it is for me, the SD card. And we take a look at the partitions. We'll see, uh, I've almost got 30 gigs I can uh, use, but, uh, but only 12 is available. Because after you burn that image, you're going to need to expand it. So this is one way that I've found to do it. It might not be the most preferred way, but uh, it does work. So we're going to delete uh, partition 2 here, that MMC BLK 0P2. And so we will, uh, let's see, we deleted it. We can take a look, make sure it's gone. Yep, we'll create a new one, being a primary, and we'll leave it that default 2. And we can see the first sector is going to start just where it did last time. And that's what we want. And then the last sector will take it out to the uh, about the 6233952. We'll, uh, let's, we won't remove the ext4 signature. <coughs> Excuse me. And let's see take a look so now we can see we've got that uh, went from 12 to almost 29 gigs available we see the ID is the same at 83 and then the type is Linux so we'll go ahead and write this to the partition table and so ideally you're probably going to really need to um, reboot and when you reboot you will be able to use uh, resize 2FS um, out to its full extent. We can try real quick uh, a part probe and we'll try uh, to do a resize now without a reboot. And let's see what we got. And so it looks like it did work. We've bumped it up to 29 gigs. I've got available uh, 18 gigs now, which uh, before I only had about um, about 1.5 gigs. So that is one way you can burn, uh, at least with um, DragonOS Pi 64, because it's based on uh, Ubuntu build. And it's a little different than the Raspbian or Raspberry Pi OS. Uh, with the tools that it has to expand. So there you go. There's one way to do that. All right, next thing, we need to go into the user source and we need to, because this shortcut I created here, other uh, SDR Play API does not fully run the installer. So just go ahead and go to the user source dot forward slash SDR play and we'll let this uh, API run. Hit enter, Q for quit, yes to run the installer. Alright, we'll let that uh, finish and then we're also going to just to make sure we'll do a systemctl restart SDR play service. We're also going to go into the 
soapy SDR play build folder and we'll do a sudo ld config because that's something else I forgot and then I'll turn over here I'm gonna plug in the RSP1 alpha and we'll do a soapy util dash dash find and I might have to give it a second let's see we're plugged in and there we go now we've got our uh, SDR play equipment available we're also going to jump over to let's see check one more thing we'll jump over to the RS P TCP server and we'll go into build directory there let's see RS We'll just try it real quick here okay so it is working now the RSP underscore TCP is kind of like RTL underscore TCP and that's what we're going to use um, or one way we can use um, to get GRGSM working uh, pretty pretty easy and then the other thing that we need to do to fix uh, GRGSM is we will install or reinstall uh, must have accidentally removed we'll do osmo, lib osmo core 11 and lib osmo core dev install those two packages should be fairly quick I think what happened was I was um, working on getting the Osmo network in the box set up or at least trying to and must have accidentally removed a package so alright now we should be good for GR GSM scanner maybe okay all right we're good all right so we're gonna open up we're gonna have two windows open and in one window let's take another look at the RTL underscore TCP options and I think we'll leave might be able to leave everything as is well, let's see so okay. all right let's see well it's because it's RSP underscore TCP and we'll buy ST frequency yeah we'll leave it as is we'll do that right there but what we need is to copy this the RTL TCP so that's running over here and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cheat here and we're going to do GRGSM scanner we'll do dash B band PCS 1900 we'll do dash dash args we'll copy and paste and we'll do dash V dash D and then I'll come over here off screen here and so we'll get a GSM available so now we are using the RTL or I'm sorry the RSP 1 alpha uh, with the RSP underscore TCP to uh, use GRGSM scanner and you can see the interaction between the two there and what will happen is um, it'll go through well there we go we got it right there so uh, we'll go ahead and stop uh, so let's see and so we see that it works so now we want to take that 
1930.2 and we'll try and we'll take a look at uh, and see if we can do the same with GRGSM Live Mon. We'll do dash F again and so fingers crossed we should there we go so now we've got our we're using the pi Four here we've uh, fixed a couple things and now we see that we're getting what we expect with GRGSM with an RSP1 alpha without having to pull open up GNU radio uh, companion and alter really anything uh, so we can see the RSP uh, works really well um, and what's cool is uh, you know it goes up to like I think two gigs or so, so that uh, it keeps the PCS 1900 still in range. All right, so, and then if we close out of this, we'll just uh, close out of this as well. We can see that now some other things that were included on the image, uh, such as uh, cubic SDR, should now see the RSP one alpha and I don't have any uh, speakers plugged in but we can see that it works in there as well alright thanks